Hey, what's going on, YouTube? Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. I am back with Jay-Z's new album, guys. Now, let me tell y'all something. It's on title, okay? I don't think they're going to have it on iTunes. I don't know. But I somehow, I got my magical ways. I somehow have it on my iTunes. Shh, I'm not going to tell y'all my secret, but it popped up on my iTunes. I'm not going to tell y'all my secret, but anyway, yeah, I got magical powers, bitch. I got um, Jay-Z new album entitled 444, guys. I still don't know what the hell that means. It, I don't. Y'all know Jay-Z and Beyonce with this four. Okay, but the album surprisingly did shock me. Now, I was listening to it. It's got 10 tracks. Now, I don't know why I seem like artists nowadays are limiting their tracks on this, on albums. Like, they're getting 10 tracks, 9 tracks. There used to be 17, 16. I don't know what's going on. I don't know if it's... I don't know. But I guess they feel like the lesser the better. So, in this case, Jay-Z did have less songs, which made it his probably his most solid album ever. He never had an album... I don't think he never had an album that had just 10 songs. So, this is different for him. But the songs are very effective. The first song, uh, and, and we we just gonna go to my least my least my favorites to least songs that I really really like. Uh, ki uh let's see. Um, I do like the first song, Kill Jay Z. Now that that had a dope. People are after Jay Z. Basically, is what he's saying. People is just saying Kill Jay Z. They think he's a, a, a imposter or something like that. I, I live for the song. I thought that it was very very old school. It was kind of weird and I, it was different. And I was I was really digging it. He really had some mad flows. I'm like, this is the Jay Z that I miss right here. So I was listening to it. And I was catching my life on that. The story of OJ was another song that I like. Black nigga, something nigga, something nigga, something nigga. I I live for it. Okay, I was listening to it. I said, this is definitely an old school Jay-Z flow that I was feeling. It was kind of giving me a little 90s vibe to it. Um, and I was really, really living for it. It's called The Story of OJ. Basically, I think it's just, you know, talking about uh, uh, rich, even though black people are, uh, uh, even though black men are considered to be rich, they still are considered niggas. And, 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 and I hate to use that word, but it's true, you know, that's what's been carried in the African American community, whether they rich, broke, uh, 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 they still, you know, uh, they still that, and that's basically what Jay Z is saying on the, uh, on the song. Uh, smile, which was different. It, 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 I love it. I think his mother appeared at the end of the song or something like that. I actually really liked it, this song, too. It was just uh, smile, even though I'm not here or something like that. He kind of had a little message in there. His flow was dope on that. Um, let's see. Um, caught their eyes feature my boy Frank Ocean. Guys, now Frank Ocean is back around the corner again. You never know. He might drop something out. I don't know, but I really didn't hear him too much on the song, maybe just the chorus. I really didn't get that Frank Ocean feel that I wanted to get, but I, I actually still kind of liked it. The song uh, the song was pretty decent. I'm not going to say it was my favorite, but I still liked it. At 444, now whether people want to believe it or not, uh, I actually really... Got a little bit of what the song, I mean, uh, of what the meaning of the, the 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 title is. He's basically saying it's an apology, basically to Beyonce. <laughs> basically, it's an apology, not just her. It's an apology to uh, just women. Period. How he treated women, and you know, he's just basically stating an apology. But the four forty four part is still kind of in uh, in the air for me. Uh, but I, I I still live with it. I still like the song. I thought it was dope. Uh, I, I really I really liked it to be Family Feud. Now, when I tell you, a lot of people don't notice that Beyonce did appear in the song. I don't care what you say. She had those little. Oh, 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 oh. I still heard her in the song, guys. She appeared like in the middle of the song. If you listen to it clearly, you would definitely hear that it was Beyonce in the song. She didn't have much. She didn't sing much in it, but she was still in it. He was basically talking about it's a family feud. Other women was trying to, you know, come between him and his wife. And uh, he, you know, uh, he really had to 
think back of, of what was causing a family feuds and he had to look back at what, what was important and it was his family basically is what he's saying i love family feud that's probably one of my favorites of the album uh, apart from um the story of oj and smile now uh, uh, uh family feud is just probably one of my favorites and i just really really live for that song bam featuring damian marley it was something real smooth about this damian marley you know appeared in the song uh he wasn't in the song much but uh bam was dope uh, he was uh boy jay was really spitting some fire on this song and even though it was real kind of solid but the beat still was kind of punching me a little bit and i live for it moonlight oh my god oh that song right there really 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 caught me by surprise i actually really uh, uh really took the time out to really listen to it and it just really 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 was kind of dope it was really really dope i live for it marcy me he was basically talking about marcy project y'all know he's from marcy projects uh, uh uh from from new york and uh he's basically talking about like uh just the memories and just uh uh remembering that that's where he's from he's just basically speaking a whole lot about marcy projects uh and that's why it's called marcy me uh, Legacy is basically uh, uh, the last song in which I actually really like it. He was basically, it's basically like a song to Blue Ivy. It, uh, um, uh, she appeared in a song which I thought was kind of cute. And he actually just really was just explaining to her like what legacy means and uh, what it means. Like he explained the generations of his family and his dad's dads and his dad's dads and their dad's dads or something like that. And uh <laughs> Uh, I actually really, really, that's what I picked up from the song. He was just speaking about the different generations of his family, and how they carried the, the money and the legacy to provide for their family, or to provide for his family and how their families, you know, it's an ongoing uh, family structure is basically what he uh, basically was stating on the song now. Uh, I would give this album a 9 uh, or maybe an 8 out of 10. It's very, very solid from... Yeah, I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. It's very, very solid from Jay-Z. It's, it's typical Jay-Z, but it's different. Uh, it's, it's a little too late back for Jay-Z, because Jay-Z, you know, likes to go a little bonkers. But uh, that's maybe my only flaw. It might it, it, It's still good. It's still good. I'm not going to say it's just his best, 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 best album, but it's still good. It's likable, and I, I, I F with it. You know, I really F with it. I just don't get what the title means. Okay, 444. Okay, he's okay. It is basically a timestamp, but uh, I don't know if it's got something to do with Beyonce and his, and his kids or who knows? Who knows what these celebrities come up with, you know? But only he knows the album is out. It's on title. It's on, uh, I think, Sprint or something like that. You can get it free or something like that. If you go on title, you can download it free. But, um, uh, I don't have title, but uh, I got it on my iTunes, so I, I listened to it, and I actually really gave it a listen. It's it's a pretty solid album from Jay-Z. That's all you need to know. Uh, I have done this review of Jay-Z. Uh, keep on, keep on, keeping on, guys. Have a great day. I have to be at work later on. I'm going to get my life. I still got other albums to listen to. Now we getting heated up for the summer because TLC that came out with that album. Don't even get me started. I live for it. But anyway, uh, this is Forever Brandon TV signing off. Deuces.